Greetings, Cerebrate. By now you've realized that I've severed your connection with the Overmind and your renegade brethren. Understand, it's nothing personal. I just can't risk you falling under their influence. You're mine now. Serve me unquestioningly, and I'll let you live. My queen, pardon me for interrupting, but the visitors you have been expecting have arrived. Finally. They certainly took their time. Yeah, well, none of us were in any real hurry to get here, Sarah. Still suspicious of my motives, Jimmy? Always. <laughs> when I contacted you both on Iyer, I told you about the new Overmind and about the UED that seeks to control it. Well, the UED has done it. They've tamed the Overmind and now control most of the Zerg broods in this sector. That's why I've asked for your help. You want us to help you defeat the UED so that you alone will rule the Zerg. Wrong, Phoenix. I want to defeat them because if we don't, they'll clamp down on this sector and enslave us all. You know I'm right, Jim. You've studied the history of Earth. You know what the UED's agenda is. Taking control of the Zerg is only the beginning for them. Maybe. I don't know. My queen, again I beg your pardon for this interruption, but we have a very serious problem. Perfect timing. Gentlemen, we'll need to finish this conversation later. Continue, Duran. The Psy Disruptor signal has reached us here in Tarsonis and shattered the unity of your broods. Within the past few hours, your minions have turned on each other and left their hive clusters to run out of control. This is just what I need. Cerebrum. Take the few zergs still under my control, and do what you can to stem any further damage to the Hive Clusters. I can't afford to have them destroyed by my own minions. Yeah, Hunter Killers. By the way, we're, go we're gonna cheat. It's the only cheat we'll ever use. Have to get groovy. I thought I had max upgrades. Apparently, I don't. My queen, the hive structures are not responding to the Cerebrate's commands. There is no way to reinforce your warriors. Cerebrate, you'll have to make do with the warriors you have. Slaughter the dissident Zerg in my name. Dude, I fucking love. You know, let's, let's 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 try up the music. Sorry, can't really hear it. Anyways, um, I love fucking Duran's voice. Like in this, like Duran is such a mysterious character, and that's what makes him like a great villain. Just kind of like, you know, it's like fucking like all of a sudden, wait, no, he's serving the Zerg. Oh wait, you know, it's crazy. I, lo I that's why I love him as a villain. Alright, we'll just continue down here. Oh, wait, I think we're going the wrong way. So we're basically just saving hives at this point. It's a very, very easy mission. I mean, because you get the 100 killers, they do like double damage, double HP of the fucking regular guys. It's just like, why? Oh no, one took slightly amounts of damage. Slight amounts of damage. I just have one of them following me. And we get screwed this. <laughs> uh, we're clearly supposed to use him somewhere. Oh, uh, right there. I think it's just like two per thing. No, no point in wasting them all. Oh wait, no, no, don't attack that high cluster. God damn it. And, wait, there's two more. And the last two will kill that one. Because if, if, if you kind of, like, stack them all up in the same one, then they won't kill it, so... They're kind of vassals like that. But I hate about Scourges. Radio Free Zerg is a funky song. Oh, defend the base. High plus or whatever. I have too many units. Oh no, wait, they may solve the problem. 
No, they're, they're idiotic. Alright, get that. And the rest of them will just go and control group two. And we'll just go kind of just top over to this hive cluster. There you go. I, uh, I don't have any more scourges, unfortunately. Oh, that's it. No, oh, we have to play more Radio Free Zerg. Oh god. Good broodling. I love it. Oh, god damn it. Oh, uh, whatever, they'll handle the last one. Do I have another one with energy? Yeah, that's what we'll do. Yeah, that's the last one. The great thing about Queens though is if you if you make a map where it's like you have like ridiculous amounts of uh uh amounts amounts of uh, fucking and uh broodlings you can use you can use broodlings to make more broodlings. If they cost nothing. Because remember, they make two for every organic that you kill, so you can keep multiplying them. It's the best. Alright. We done? We've defended this. Oh, there's a defiler right here. Alright, everyone come hop through. This will just kind of kill them all. Wow, this is like the crazy, the crazy hype cluster. Might as well use this guy to go plague. I don't really know why I'm not doing anything with these queens. I'm bringing them over to the fight, too. I want Taurus. He's the best of all Tarisks. Yeah, I think this guy wants a stack. Mm, what do you want to consume? Oh, they eat that Hydralisk. Delicious. Hydralisks need to eat too. Why you guys fucking think Hydralisks wouldn't have to? Let's go eat my own units. Can I eat a queen? Oh no, it's it's victory. Well then. My disruptor is causing me some very serious problems. Although I've regained control of my forces here, it's taking more and more concentration just to keep them in line. Oh, my heart's breaking for you, Kerrigan. Now exactly why was it that you asked Phoenix and I to bring Minx to you? Are you still suspicious that I'll kill him for abandoning me to the Zerg? I've gotten over it, Jim. We can't afford to let petty hatreds jeopardize our plans for the UED. That's reassuring. Arcturus, I presume you found your cold sleep chamber accommodating? What is the meaning of this, Carrigan? Straight to the point, huh? I was hoping to chat. It's been a while. Not long enough. Why have I been brought here? I need your psi emitters, Arcturus. Why? Remember the Confederate psi disruptor that you could never find? Well, the UED found it, and it's preventing me from controlling my minions. With the help of your Psy emitters, I can gather up enough Zerg to destroy the Disruptor and confront the UED. And what are you offering me in return? Ha! Ever the politician. All right, Emperor. If you help me destroy the Disruptor, I'll help you retake Korhal from the UED. Hmm, a tempting offer. What assurances do I have of you fulfilling your end of the bargain? The only thing I can assure you of, Arcturus, is that without my help, you'll be the emperor of your own little 8x8 cell for the rest of your life. <sighs> I see that you're still a persuasive speaker. All right, Kerrigan. I'll lend you some emitters, but this had better be worth it. Listen up. Our 
objective is to locate and disable the Psy Disruptor's primary power generator. Once we've done that, we'll turn over the mission to Meg's Ken Kerrigan. Let's move out. I'm gone. I always love these little cutscenes that they have, like in-game cutscenes. It's just fucking awesome. Especially since this is like 98 or something. In transit, HQ. Kerrigan, the generator's offline. You can shut down the sign at any time. Good work, Jim. The sign emitter will be carried by one of my SCVs. With the disruptor's power cut, the emitter should be able to get the attention of any renegade Zerg near it. The SCV will then be able to lure the Zerg back to your base. Once the Zerg arrive there, you'll be able to assert direct control over them. Orders, Captain. Right away, sir. Roger that. All right, let's get this going. Roger that. Perfect. With this Zerg, I can construct a new hive cluster. Once my forces have grown strong enough, I can assault the Psy Disruptor directly. Gotta love Zerglings. I read you. Orders, Captain. Excellent work. Although these Zerg are now under my control, I sense that there are more Zerg out there. We must lure as many of them here as possible. These are hunter killers, by the way. Which are the, uh... The, the super awesome hydralisks. And these are devouring ones, which are the, actually the hero uh, zerglings. There's like heroes everywhere. So these are like, basically like, any kind of hero is basically a crackling or a crack, like the, the super upgraded variations of, uh, of the units. Oh no, 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 no. Where are those guys? They, they want nothing but pain for you. That's pretty good, bad. Alright, and this guy can go up here and make a hive cluster here as well. Good need overlords, though. Luckily, luckily, the heroes don't actually... Uh, they don't require any resources at all. Uh, like, in terms of... Um, uh, like, like actual money. Hey, look, it's Torisk. Or, sorry, what? Tor ask. Fucking. Don't ask yes, me to pronounce sir. things. Affirmative. Right away, sir. Yeah. Is it, he's a total baller. He's got way too much HP for a. He doesn't deserve that much HP. Uh, I don't know where. I don't think they go past this island here. Actually, kill that bear. A bear got in our way. That's what happens when you fuck with a Zerg. Okay, he'll just follow them. Uh, oh, there's a there's an attack force right here. No, no, no. The, he's not gonna do it. Oh, what are you doing? What are you kids doing? Oh, it's a medic. Surround. There you go. It's always fun. And I have literally no more minerals. You can actually go into this this previous area that the all that crap was in. And I think for the most part they just kind of go like in the yes, same sir. area. Like they just they, they they come from the same area, so okay, they're not here. Oh, there there we go. No, try to micro them back. Yeah, the SCV's like helping with the attack. There we go, some more hunter killers. Wow. <laughs> Actually, are they gonna pick up the side disruptor? No, they just gotta leave it there. I, I, I was a little bit. These critters make me nervous as hell. I wonder why. Alright. So, Hunter Killers will just kinda chill, I guess. Also, um, if I didn't kill him, all that would happen is that he would, uh, uh, he'd get picked up by a dropship and he'd leave. 
So really, really no, it's no biggie. Like it just you didn't miss anything, anything special. Nothing, nothing special gets triggered either. I think if you kill the SCV with the sign meter before you're done, I think it gives you a new SCV though, and, he, and then Manx like scolds you or something. And I don't really, I don't really remember what happens. Anyways, we're gonna get like an economy going. This is the reason why I got two bases basically, was so that I could, you know, just have. Really, really fast drones, basically. The, the main thing right now is, is to get some minerals. And I, I can also just send all these guys wherever I need to. Uh, to, to help uh, reinforce or whatever. Um, what am I going to do for this mission? I don't really know. Actually, I haven't fully decided what to attack with. Yeah, let's get this overload up all the way up here. I need some more, uh, some another overlord. Basically, I'm gonna have the overlords in scouting positions. I keep pressing V because it's the hot in StarCraft 2 for it. I keep forgetting. Oh well. Uh, I could get some early gas. I've done mutas on this mission so much, and I, I honestly, I think they're awful. It's mostly because I think the Terrans have a lot of siege tanks. Like you saw them earlier, they have the siege tanks. That bear I saw it on my minimap, it scared me. Um, as I said, I, I I need to decide what 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 I think is the best. But we have both the bases at this point, and we did like a really early expo, which is really nice. Um, uh, let's go build a spawning pool, and we'll also get this underway as well. Uh, poor one marine. Why? Why would they send him to scout? Too slow for the marines, sort of. So we're gonna get as much gas as we can. I'm hoping that we can do lurkers. I can't tell if we can right now because we need to get a hydro lift in. Oh god! Just run away. Fuck, I put all this work into this. I'm sure to put at least one sunken colony down. It's my own fault. Oh, what are you gonna do? Actually, we'll put we'll put two of them back here and Taurus will come over over here as well. That's what I should have done. Oh well. Now's not the time for regrets. And the rest of them come down here. Come back up. Uh, alright, let's see. So, we can't get cracklings because there's no attack speed on this stuff. Uh, so let's get the Hydralis Den next and, and have a look around. Fortunately, I've just spent all my minerals on that lair. I, I maybe will do, uh, Mutalis again, but I'm gonna have a lot of I have to have a lot, basically, so let's start actually mining that now, because that's... The slow part of Mutalis is actually having enough, uh, gas for him. So, let's bring them over there. Uh, lurkers would be fun. To, okay, we'll do mutalists. Okay, you guys win. Uh, I don't. I don't put up much of a fight. Uh, although it's not like you guys are like, oh, do mutalists, Mike. Well, there there'll be plenty of other missions to do all the other stuff as well. The real issue here is I need to start scouting. I wonder where those those guys even came from. I guess they they came from over here. I don't really know actually, because I, I just saw the attack come in. I didn't actually see where exactly from. The, like I have this guy up here just to kind of scout beforehand, but they didn't. They clearly didn't come up. They didn't drop ship in basically. There's no other entrances to my base besides over there. All right, go ahead and do your thing. Oh, that, that deals with him. Surprised that he didn't just go harass my my overlord that was right there. A lot more overlords. At least we have that now. All right, we can't do anything fun like guardians yet. So, uh, by the way, I can't I can't victory fleet with Zerg. There's no such thing as battle cruisers or leviathans or whatever the fuck you want. Uh, let's start scouting with Torusk. 
Cause he's a baller and fucking he'll deal with everything. Like he's even got like the, the maximum Zerg upgrades too. Actually, do we all have two Carapaces? No, just he does. What a bastard. A fat, ultraless bastard. I would kill that thing. Also, he does like 50 damage. It's like one, one, one hit kills a Marine. Hive Cluster is not under attack. Crazy, crazy game. Making me all worried. Alright, we just need a couple more guys for minerals. Alright, let's see. Yeah, I was pretty sure we couldn't... What the fuck? <laughs> oh, that's where the uh, dropship went. Okay, let's start exploring. With Taurusk. Check and scout with Mutalisks, too. Maybe you should do that. Actually, this thing is going to be coming out in just a minute. I'm thinking about bait making some more overlords, though. So yeah, the dropship fucked up in its triggers because it didn't expect me to kill the the guy that soon. We have gas. 5,000, okay. Is there really nothing over here? Oh, that's funny. Uh, let's build some mutas now. I could have guessed that would have been a problem. Alright, let's just build a, another base right over here then. Hopefully he's not going to get killed along the way. If he does, then we'll blame everyone else. Uh, yeah, there, there's literally nobody here. We can go see where those those power things were. So here's where the cutscene was. No. Okay. So this is where the power adapter, the power things were. You know, it's awesome like that. Um. This is where the, the iceberg of this planet is. It, they only have one. Uh, more gas. Okay, so I got plenty of... Uh, plenty of uh, things for more... Uh, more for maintaining lots and lots of butalisks, so... I might as well go start... Oh, I'll build one hatchery. The rest of the hatcheries can... will be fine. Okay, I'm... I'm oh, ooh. No, 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 ignore that. Okay, it looks like they're going down to my other base. So that's that's how they're getting there. Um, you guys won't, might want to all come down there. Oh, ignore them. Ignore them. Taurus will defend you. Yeah, look at them go. <laughs> it's like a conga line of zerglings. Ignore that. There's nothing for you to see. Yeah, well, we'll start getting that in just a second. Oh god, no, 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 no! You fools! You were supposed to engage up here, whatever, I, I don't care anymore. Oh shit, no, no. Nope, now we're we'll engaging up here. Conga line up here, guys. Awesome. The Zerg conga line is undefeatable. That is a lesson we have learned today. Okay, so I have Mutalis for uh, rapid air defense. I don't want to research for I want to research making more Mutalis. And, uh, yep, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to attack with a buttload of Mutas. I don't think we're going to get that much in terms of upgrades anyways, but I might as well build another one. So Zerg, I think, is one of my least favorite races because... It's there's nothing wrong with it. It's just I, I kind of like the speciality of the uh, the Terrans or the micro of uh, of the, the the Protoss, you know, like the big heavy units. The, the Zerg is very much a race that's all about like the playstyle is all all macro. Like that's that's what you're supposed to do. Is you're supposed to build a shit ton of stuff and just send it straight into them. There is some obviously some micro mechanics with it, but you know, for some people they they don't care. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. I wanted to start building stuff. Alright, someone has to die. Fuck this guy. Sorry. I need to start building that, uh... Oh, okay, I got another one anyways. I'm gonna just build some sunkins or some shit over here, uh, as well. And Taurus will also defend. I need an evolution chamber, though. An evi chamber. Uh, or else I will not be able to build that for air defense. Okay. And then we're gonna have gas then. Like maximum gas. And then I'm probably gonna need more drones. 
because drones are really valuable to me. I really seriously do not have enough. Oh, there we go. Now we can just do two researches at once. Need some more. Even more. I'm not going to defend this one. I don't think they'll ever come down there. It's too odd of a place. But you have the computer fucking cheat, so maybe it will. To be honest, you, you don't really know. Computer's a goddamn cheater. Alright, we, we just want one more drone out of this place. And we're done with that area. And we'll build one more. It's going to be basically two sunkens and a score. And then Taurus will kind of like patrol this area. He's like, he's like the fucking, he's the sheriff of these lands. You've been promoted to sheriff, how do you feel, Torsk? Roar! Whatever Torsk does, says. Right. And we need a house for. And they're kind of- oh look, a goliath, oh no. Oh fuck! You son of a bitch! The thousand Eulus of the- oh, okay, he gave up. The Persian Empire descend upon you. Oh what? No, you don't get away that easily. Oh shit. Ah. Okay, and those Goliaths are really suicidal. Actually, I think they just play too much mech world online. Ah, oh, obscure reference. That nobody will ever understand. Uh, this one will build down Butalisk, so let's make you rally over there. That is your goal in life. To build also more, more, more ship. So how much Butalisk do you ask? How about 200-200? Which is, I guess, victory fleeting, but, um... Da -da 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 it's like, they're over here, they're like, yeah, we're killing their base, we're so amazing. Oh man, those overlords never saw what was coming to them. Oh shit. Oh, delicious, delicious zergs. And siege tanks are useless now. Uh, is this the Zerg equivalent of, uh, of, uh, victory flitting? You decide. But, you know, if this is the wrong way to play Zerg, I don't know what the right way is. I want to know what the right way is. Oh, god. These poor Marines. They're, they're like 2-2 as well. Oh, here's a side disruptor. That's right. Oh, we'll just, you know, let them have their fun. I only lost like five vetoes so far. Oh, I won. <laughs> well, that was fun. Okay, I'll try not going 200, 200 vetoes ever again. Yeah, I just, I kind of just smushed that mission a little bit. Eh, hope you enjoyed. Bye.